We started as this band of misfits and just through consistency and hard work, we've really developed into a team. We want to take ourselves you know, from the south side of Chicago and be world known. And he, he had the same passion that I had, to achieve something great in life. And these guys, they want to get to the UFC. This is the way we're doing it. I will come every single day and I will bust my ass and I will prove it to you that I want this. I'll never be scared. Blood sometimes makes people scared and, and now I've bled. I'll never be scared again. I'll never step backwards. I was born at Ingalls Memorial Hospital in Harvey, Illinois, and I was taken home to a trailer in town not far from there. This is where I grew up in Harvey. This is 15033 Fairfield, Harvey, Illinois. Um, this is where my trailer was. When we moved out, it wasn't really well maintained and I knew it wasn't gonna last too, too much longer once we left. There was a little pop out where our porch was and it would leak all the time and we would have to fix it every single spring. And I would basically time my punches and kicks and try to hit the water droplets out of the air before they landed in the pot that was standing on the floor. We've always been like a, a South Side gym. Our old slogan used to be like working class fighter, you know, the South Side guy. They just come in, just your average run of the mill guy. We're just trying to, you know, live our lives. And we we're kind of in a transition with our pro fighters. You know, throughout the years, we've had guys compete in the UFC, WEC, Strike Force. You know, we, we've been in Japan a bunch of times. And the thing I think now that we're getting a lot of kids from Harvey is because I think the mentality of those guys, they respect each other. This is what I want to do. And they like that mentality. And they say, hey, that guy's from my neighborhood. I could do what he's doing. I basically was working these dead-end jobs. I get to Thornton High School. I would go into the wrestling room because I worked in the field house. On my shift, I would clean my whole shift. And then I would get in there and I would do wrestling practice with Steve, Isaac. They were all in high school on the team, freshmen in high school. I was 18, I was 19 years old at the time. And uh, so I was just working as a janitor and I would go wrestle with them, getting in shape, getting in shape. That's when I started getting back into it, picked up back fighting, and then uh, I just was like, kind of after I started fighting, I started hitting up Steve. These guys were graduating, and I was like, you guys are falling into the same stupid shit I was doing, come fight, you know what I mean? Come try and let's do something better with our lives than just like doing what everyone else does from our neighborhood, you know what I mean? I joined, don't tell nobody, but I joined during the middle of the pandemic. Um, so uh, <laughs> I joined, so that's about two years ago. My brother wanted to come. We, we've known Bo and Chris like all our lives. So we were like, oh, where are they doing? We seen that they were doing MMA. We like, might as well go over there. After my senior year in high school, I started kind of getting bad, fat and chubby. I'm like, you know what? Let me get in shape. Let me start doing something to get in shape. I started seeing Bo doing it. I'm like, I know he got a wrestling background. I got a wrestling background. I know I could do it too. Then ever since I started, never stopped, ever. So when I came into G2, I was three years removed from my last amateur fight. I was drinking far too often and most importantly, I just kind of didn't have my head in the right place. So I knew that I needed to make a change and that's how I ended up scouring the internet and going online and looking at, you know, the fight cards for previous fights I had in the area. And I came across G2. And when I came here, I assumed there'd be a lot of fighters, but when I got here, it was really just Dan Gilbert and Bo Samanego. There was always people, extra people in the gym, but no one consistent. The only consistent people I saw was just Dan and Bo. They were making do with just each other and Bo was successful. And I was just really like motivated and, and kind of like inspired by what he was doing. At this point, I still had no intentions on fighting, but I knew that I wanted to make a change in my life. And my specialty is grappling. And when I met Bo, it seemed to be the only gap that he had was in the grappling department. Really, Jose had a big impact on me, like uh, with his jujitsu. You know, I've been learning everything that he teaches me, and I I fucking practice that shit to a T. And I really fell in love with the like martial arts and really attention to detail and using my techniques to win the fight instead of just my toughness in my heart, which I know I always have. The first day we met, were you just gonna will your way into beating me? No. But you came I every day. Trying, <laughs> yeah, you're gonna try, of I course. Trying, still trying. But you're gonna come every day. You yeah. fucking choke me now. No, 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 you wouldn't, no, you wouldn't, you know, you know, when I first met you. So I took it on myself to help and, and try to round out this fighter and just be a part of a team. And Fire does what fire does, and it spreads. So by the end of the first year of the post I had rekindled the fire in my heart. 
I was ready to fight again. I was looking for my first competition to get back in the game. And along the way, it wasn't just me, it was, we started collecting guys like Isaac Watkins and Calvin Watkins, guys like Chris Williams, Steve Collins, Luis and Sueta, and, and, and just a number of other guys. So the gym was kind of small and, and, you know, headed downhill and it just seemed like through work and dedication and just that same motivation, we started gathering a, a band of misfits, just a group of misfits coming together and it came up out of nowhere. I just signed my next three fight deal with CFFC. So I plan on fighting every other month until the month of December, uh, until this contract's up or until Bellator UFC give me that call. And, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and put the pedal to the metal just like I was before and do exactly what got me here. Put on exciting fights, work really hard in the gym. And now I've got my team behind me. The door's open for me. The door's open for my whole team and I really think that we're just gonna show you guys something really special and show you guys exactly what YouTube made out of it.